Hi guys, in this tutorial you'll learn what Mission Control is. So Mission Control is a new feature in Line. What does it do? Well, let's launch it. Go ahead and click on the Mission Control or hit the F3 key on your keyboard. So this is the basic interface in Mission Control. There's the dashboard and the desktop. If you want to go to the dashboard, go ahead and click it. If not, let's go back. So in here, you can basically add another desktop. If you like to do that, go ahead and hover your mouse over to the right top corner and click this plus button and it'll add another desktop. If you'd like to add another one, just go ahead and keep adding. You can pretty much add as many as you like. If you want to erase it, go ahead and click this X and let's say I want three desktops. Now you must be wondering why I want three desktops. Now, for example, let's say I'm working on a research paper. I want Safari open, I want Word open, and then I want iCal to schedule something. So as you can see, the desktop gets kind of crowded. Especially if you're like working on your MacBook Pro and you have a small screen. Mission Control is a great feature. So let's go back. I can add, let's say, iCal to desktop too. Just go ahead and drag and drop. And I can add Google to desktop three. And now I have more space. And if you ever change your mind, just go ahead and switch them over. And let's work on desktop two. Go ahead and click it. And now you can do your research here. Even if you're on desktop 2, you can open any apps like usual. If you want to go to Finder and find some content here, you can do so. If you want to go back to Word, just go ahead and click on the Word and it will switch to the desktop 1. Of course, if you click on iCal, it'll just shift over to desktop 3. So there you go. That's Mission Control. By the way, if you ever want to delete even though you have another app in it, go ahead and do that and the apps will just shift over to the next desktop. Alright, that's it. That's Mission Control, a great feature for the laptop users, I'd say. Alright, thanks a lot for watching.